now that I'm back at home, try not to have my friend's face in the video because, well, it's for purposes. Anyway, I'm going to sit you here on the windowsill so that you can see what I actually got to get. Phone's on the windowsill. Um, so you can see what I actually got from the store. This was, believe it or not, this big ass box right here. I'm covering my friend with a big box of cereal. Um, it's for his privacy. Um, a dollar ninety nine for this big thing of rice chucks. $1.99 for some vanilla life cereal. Smaller box, obviously, than the rice chucks. Um, okay. I was lucky to even find some bratwurst. Okay. Um, they did drop the price in the ribeye steak, so I got two of these. Um... Other than that, they would normally cost $8 each, but they dropped it by a dollar and a penny. I should say $2 and a penny. So, um, and then I was able to grab the seasoned shredded potato puffs. I got two of these. Um, one of the cashiers, look, you saw this in the other video. This was the last one of this. I see they changed the packaging again. I like that purple. I'm a purple person. Okay, what really gets me is this was the last of these. I got two. Um, but if you're feeding just you, you only need one of these. Okay, and there's four in here, so that would be four eight days worth of this that I have. Um, plus the shredded potatoes, plus I have some other frozen potatoes in here, plus I got a case of water. But here's the point, people. If you watched in the other video, people have gone crap crazy over the water and over the toilet paper again they had restocked the toilet paper and the preppers are out there buying it up well what if people like myself needed toilet paper would they have it at the dollar general probably not we didn't even go down to the dollar general we just wanted to go get stuff and come back so we're trying to conserve on gas even though gas is down to $2.09 where I live. Um, leave in the comments, okay, what your pricing situation is at your grocery store. Now, they did price gouge on some of the frozen food, which I don't think is fair to the American economy. Maybe it's because it was frozen Asian stir-fry food. And um, they wanted to price, excuse me, price gouge on that. And um, if you saw that in a couple of videos ago that I was showing that uh, I was eating some General Tso's chicken. Now, when I had originally bought that, it was only like $3.99 a bag. And they price gouged that up to $6.99 a bag. Is that fair to the American economy? Absolutely no. No. Our economic standards, as they are being right now... My own financial institute told me that they would give me a $300 overdraft to cover anything 
right now in this situation that's going on. Am I going to overdraft because of this crap crazy? No. Why? I don't need it. Be very vigilant about how you spend. Because if you're very vigilant about how you spend in the now, we'll get through this just fine. I mean, the only reason I bought food is because, again, I ran out of food. And I'm lucky to get a ride to the store. You all know that with the epilepsy, I'm not allowed to drive. So, um, this will be a shorter video, obviously, than the other video. So, this one can go on my Instagram as well as my YouTube. So, um, oh my gosh. Like, start thinking about the rest of the population out here. Um, if I had known that my friend Nathan takes Urban X had gone live last night, I would have wanted to join his panel on YouTube. Uh, so I'm trying to get him, if, if he, if, and only if, he decides to do that, then I'll ask him what time and purposely stay up to uh, be on his panel. That way they know the the legits of what's going on here in America. And, um, you know, I have to say a lot of people out there that are doing this panicking, did you forget about the college kid diet? The bean noodles that I bought are not necessarily the college kid diet. Um, there were still a lot of ramen noodles on the shelf, which seemed very wrong to me. And the cheese is basically gone. The coffee creamer that you refrigerate is basically gone. The powdered coffee creamer is gone. So I'm obviously not the only one that thought about powdered coffee creamer. Now I did find some more Death Wish coffee at the store, but I'm not putting out $23.99, basically $24, out of my pocket to buy something that I already had recently purchased five pounds of, and therefore I'm not worried about that at this time. Now, I may go ahead and message on Instagram straight to Death Wish and see if they're still going to be open for shipping. Um, an order for next month so that I can see about getting another five pounds of coffee. Now see right there, and this was before everybody started their ultimate panic attack um, about the flu. And a lot of people are aware that this is actually just the flu. Apparently in the grocery store, I didn't know this, somebody spotted me and they're like, you're the one that said it's the flu, and you showed the Clorox wipes. Yes, I got recognized in the store because somebody realized I'm the one that exposed this is just the flu, showing that Clorox and Lysol is a combatant against the human corona Influenza, the flu, um, A2 virus, um, and we're only on stage 19 of that flu virus. So the vaccines are, our, look, we have flu vaccines already. It's just a guesstimation on which strand gets released that year. And that, that's all I can tell you about that part. Um, I can't tell you any more about that, and I have reasons why. But it's the flu. Stop with your panic, please. You do actually stress people out when you do that. Let's stay calm. Let's stay focused. Let's stay together. And most of all, 
Stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. I will catch you later for some more sewing. I actually do need to eat because it's after 3 o'clock. And um, if I didn't feel like cooking, I would have to brew some coffee and um, eat some cereal. Because I'm lactose intolerant and couldn't get the, well, there wasn't really a lot of milk left either. Um, so, yeah, I mean, eggs gone. There was a teenage girl walking over to the eggs and the look on her face was, huh? And, and she realized I was doing video. You guys know that I only had it on me for a purpose. But do the rest of the world a favor. Leave food on the shelves, toilet paper on the shelves, water on the shelves for other people. The guy that had three cases told me that, oh, no, go ahead and get more than just the one. I'm like, sir, I abide by the rules. He's like, oh, well, I had previously bought five other cases. So, see, the dude was hoarding water, and he admitted to it in the store. In fact, his son had quit working at the grocery store that I went to, and that's pretty darn sad. That's pretty darn sad. His kid had quit. had quit working at that store way before any of this. And only because the kid had mentioned something to him about, you know, da-da-da-da-da, and, you know, knowing about it anyway, and the kid had just up and quit. Well, that doesn't help him in a small town so really think about what you're doing that's my message to you really think about what you're doing because with all the crazy most of the vegetables are gone the frozen pastas are gone uh, i mean pasta went flying off the freaking shelf rice people can't people are still buying rice and beans what are you doing you're gonna give yourself the craps Anyway, guys, I will see you later.